I know there's gonna be people out there who disagree with what I'm saying. What up, it's your girl, Nick. All right, y'all, as you already can tell from the title of the video, man, we are going to go over this hella confusing Jussie Smollett situation. Before I get started, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that bell right next to the subscribe button so you can get notified when I upload on my channel. Right now, I'm gonna be smashing my uh, meal prep. Last meal prep this last week, it's got, you know, got my meat which I think is pulled pork and carrots and broccoli and mashed potatoes. Well, not mashed potatoes, they're just potatoes. They're not mashed, but they about to get mashed up in here. Also, I wanna shout out to Nodi Gang, man. Nodi Gang, y'all are out there strong, Mob Squad holding it down. We are a little over 5K subs, and I am grateful and appreciative for you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And my YouTube shout out of the day is gonna go to King Khalil. Man, make sure y'all check out his channel. If you're into mukbangs, ASMR, I know I am into mukbangs and ASMR, I'm guilty. You definitely want to check out his channel. Here's a small clip of his latest video. Mm. Alright y'all, mm -hmm. right, if y'all enjoyed the video, be sure to go to the link in the description box below. Click on the video, go find my comment that I left under his video and leave a comment under my comment. Let him know that you're part of the Mob Squad and we support his channel. All right, y'all, let's get to this video, man. This Jesse Smollett BS is going on. What the, what, 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 what? You telling me all those lies and you ain't even gonna get a ticket, just a slap on the wrist? What? We about to watch this video. Actually, I wanna watch two videos because this whole situation is kind of like throwing me for a loop. You feel me? I don't know. I don't know if I, I trust this situation. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel like I trust the jury. I feel like a few people might have got paid off. Like, it's just a little bit sketch. But we gonna watch this first video, y'all. Let me know as y'all are watching this video how y'all are feeling about the whole situation. Hey everybody, I just made a couple of notes. Um, yeah, you better have your notes. First of all, I wanna thank my family, my friends, the incredible people of Chicago and all over the country and the world who have prayed for me, who have supported me, who've shown me so much love. No one will ever know how much that has meant to me and I will forever be grateful. Uh-huh, you better thank your family because they gotta be embarrassed. I know they're like, oh my God, Jesse, what have you done? I want you to know that not for a moment was it in vain. I've been truthful and consistent on every single level since day one. I would not be my mother's son if I was capable of one drop of what I've been accused. Boy, he said he put it on his mama. <laughs> put it on his mama, I'm not lying, I put it on my mama. Of this has been an incredibly difficult time, honestly one of the worst of my entire life. But I'm a Got man me. of faith, and I'm a man that has knowledge of my history, and I would not bring my family, our lives, or the movement through a fire like this. I just wouldn't. Mm -hmm. So I want to thank my legal counsel from the bottom of my heart, and I would also like to thank the state of Illinois for attempting to do what's right. Now I'd like nothing more than to just get back to work and move on with my life. But make no mistakes, I will always continue to fight for the justice, equality, and betterment of marginalized people everywhere. So again, thank you for all the support. Thank you for faith and thank you to God. Bless y'all, thank you very much. So that was it, huh? That's all you got to say, Jesse. I'm still not too sure about how I feel about that little speech right there. Even though he wrote the notes down or whatnot. I feel like he was a little bit nervous, you know? Just by the body language. It's just not adding up, you know what I'm saying? Like my, my intuition is telling me like, what, what, what kind of shit is going on? It's still not believable to me. For some reason, this is getting swept under the rug. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm, the media does a great job at confusing the masses. Anything to si keep us sidetracked, you know what I'm saying? Anything to not reveal truth. It seems like, almost like if they're conditioning us, to be confused all the time and to accept the fact that there's no answer. It got swept under the rug too easy. You telling me 16 charges, 16 charges that were supposedly fe felonies just get dropped like that with barely any evidence. Just 
like that. Like, I don't know how believable that is, you know? Well, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see in the next video. So listen, uh, I'm listening. I'm sure we all know what, what occurred this morning. Uh, my personal opinion is that you all know where I stand on this. Um, okay. Do I think justice was served? No. Where mm -hmm. do I think justice is? I think this city is still owed an apology. Okay. And let me digress for a moment. When I came on this job, I've been a cop now for about 31 years. Mm. When I came on this job, I came on with my honor, my integrity, and my reputation. If someone accused me of doing anything that would circumvent that, then I would want my day in court, period, to clear my name. Hello? I've heard that they wanted their day in court with TV cameras so America could know the truth. But no, they chose to hide behind secrecy and broker a deal to circumvent the judicial system. Mm. My job as a police officer is to investigate an incident, gather the evidence, gather the facts, and present them to the state's attorney. Right. That's what we did. I stand behind the detective's investigation. Okay. I'll let Mary Manuel comment further. Boy, he said my people did their job. The proof was in the pudding, and it still got swept under the rug. I support uh, the hard work of our police officers, the defective units, but I'd like to remind everybody, a grand jury indicted this individual based on a, only a piece of the evidence that the police had uh, collected in that period of time. So a grand jury actually brought the charges. Mm -hmm. I think uh, two... Grand jury. So the people that they selected to be the jury made all the charges go away. That's the only way. In a, when you're in court, the jury makes a decision, the judge is there to like slam the little thing on the table and be like ordering the court, basically. Because when I did uh, jury duty, it didn't seem really fair. When I was in jury duty, I didn't understand a lot of the things and we still made a decision based upon what we thought was right. But still it wasn't Right, you know what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't fair. I don't feel that that's fair, but whatever. Things I'd like to say, three things I'd like to say. One, on financial costs, this $10,000 doesn't even come close to what the city spent in resources to actually look over the camera, gather all the data, gather all the information that actually brought the indictment by the grand jury. On many, many multiple different charges. Second is what that's I would crazy. call the ethical costs. And the ethical cost is you have, a, as a person who was in the House of Representatives when we tried to pass the Shepard legislation that dealt with petty crimes, putting them on the books, that President Obama then signed into law, to then use those very laws and the principles and values behind the Matthew Shepard hate crimes legislation to self-promote your career. Mm. Is a, is a cost that comes to all the individuals. Hello? Gay men and women who will come forward and one day say they were a victim of a hate crime who now will be doubted. Right. People of faith, Muslim or any other religious faith, who will be a victim of hate crime. People that have also, of all walks of life and backgrounds, race, ethnicity, sexual orientation, now this casts a shadow of whether they're telling the truth and he did this all in the name of self promotion. That's and crazy. he used the laws of the hate crime legislation that all of us collectively over years have put on the books to stand up to be the values that embody what we believe in. This is a whitewash of justice. <laughs> a grand jury could not have been clear. To then say not only is the cost ten thousand dollars doesn't come cost financially. But all the other repercussions of this decision it made to me, where is the accountability in the system? That's what I'm saying. Where is the accountability in the system? And to self-promote yourself like this, like, I wonder how the community is feeling. You know what I'm saying? I know everybody's 50-50. I know there's going to be people out there who disagree with what I'm saying. And people are going to completely agree and, you know, applaud Jesse for... You know, not going to jail, not going to prison. And that's fine. But the fact that we knew that this was a come up to get your career going, you know what I'm saying? To get the career going because you were upset that you were not getting paid enough at Empire. 
People at Empire were like, I'm confused because he never asked us. The story is just not adding up. So yeah, I do think Jesse uh, owes a lot of people an apology. You know what I'm saying? Owes the LGBT community an apology. The city of Chicago. Those boys who are getting accused. I mean, if they didn't jump him or whatnot. But he does owe somebody an apology, hell. Like, what the heck? That is just mind blowing. Cannot have because of a person's position. One set of rules apply to them, right? And another set of rules apply to everybody else. Hello. In another way, you're seeing this play out in the universities, where people pay extra to get their kids a special position in universities. Right. Now you have a person because of their position and background who's getting treated in a way that nobody else would ever. Sorry about that. Would. Don't get near, I'm doing near my sermon here. <laughs> that would ever you get preach close it. to this type of treatment. Our Absolutely, it's not fair. Did hard work, day in and day out, countless hours, working to unwind what actually happened that night. Man. The city saw its reputation dragged through the mud. But I remind everybody, it was not just the officer's work. That work, a piece of that work, was shown to a grand jury, right. and they made a decision based on only a sliver of the evidence. Mm. And as I remember correctly, somebody wanted to have that evidence, and the day, as the superintendent said, their day in court, so all the evidence could be made public. Right. And because of the judge's decision, none of that evidence will ever be made public. And that, that blows my mind, you know what I'm saying? The, even the mayor is talking about this because he got to stand up now for his city, the city of Chicago, and all the hard work that people are putting into the city of Chicago. Like, as we can see, it's very clear that Chicago has had a lot of, you know, hard times. Their school system is failing, probably a lack of teachers who are actually teachers, not just there to sit and babysit. It's like they take 10 steps forward to get slapped in the face and have to go backwards. So I get why the mayor's upset. I get why the Chicago PD's upset. I would be upset too. Like what? You just gonna let him walk after all this shit that we just did. We just showed y'all that we just proved that he said, and he's still just gonna know, know, know nothing. Just left with a slap on the wrist. That's it. None of it. This is without a doubt a whitewash of justice and sends a me clear message that if you're in a position of influence and power, you'll get treated one way, other people will be treated another way. There is no accountability then in the system. It is wrong, full stop. <laughs> what I do want to say is I, uh, the way I look at it is I commend the officers and the grand jury for their decisions. Hey, there's not a lot of times where I've been on the police officer's side here in 2019. 18, 17, you go back. There's not a lot of times where, where you know, we feel like the police are really doing their job. But in this situation, I feel like, damn. I just feel at this point, like, it's just meant to make us confused. Because they're, they're not even going to show the evidence. And I'm pretty sure Jesse's not gonna be like, oh, this was what the evidence was. He's just gonna move on with his life, you know? And hopefully, I mean, I wish the best for Jesse. Don't get me wrong, guys. Like, I wish the best for everyone out there, uh, for the R. Kelly's, for the Jesse Smollett's, you know what I'm saying? I do wish the best for them. I don't want y'all to think that, you know, I'm just bashing Jesse, but it's clear as day that there was an injustice. At least make an apology statement, like not just, oh, I beat my case, let's move on. You know what I'm saying? I just wanna move on and go back to work. No, it, it's not that easy, you know what I'm saying? People getting locked up for all kinds of dumb shit. Boy, like you did it all. You, you said you got jumped, there's no evidence. <laughs> the fuck? What the fuck? Where they do that at? You know what I'm saying? If you, if it was anybody on these streets lying, boy, they would have got hit with all them 16 charges. Bye, you're lying. You're going to jail. It does show that, hey, if you got money, you could just toss that money over onto the jury and boom, you good. Let me know what y'all think. I think we got the gist of it just by watching these few clips. It still sounds sketchy. It sounds like this is just a distraction or at the time it was a distraction. 
uh, for the masses and now it's just mass confusion and it's just like it leaves us with a big question mark wondering what the hell happened in that courtroom anyways y'all let me know what y'all think about this situation do y'all think it's a little bit sketchy do y'all think a hey, he won fair and square that it should just be swept under the rug and he should just get his job back at empire and continue let me know what y'all think. Leave it in the comments down below. I'm anxious to see what y'all have to say. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button and the bell right next to the subscribe button so you can get notified when I upload on my channel. And until next time, Mob Squad, I'm out. Nothing less than I would, you can never